everybody, it's Bailey and I'm back with another resource for Resource Thursday. Today we're going to take a little bit of a different approach because it's spooky season and I wanted to show you a little website that is presented by author R.L. Stein, who is an author of horror fiction books for usually third to eighth grade. He also has some teen books and he has some TV series and movies and his website has some really good free resources that are great for teachers and families. So to log on, you're gonna to need to go to rlstein.com. And once you type that into your computer, you're gonna see his website pop up. On his homepage, there are books that are coming out, some book bites, which just talks about the book. It has his TV series and so on and so forth. So up in the left-hand corner, you're gonna see three little bars. This is how you get to, do, to the different sections on his website. We're gonna go through these together. Let's first look at news. This is similar to the home page. It has the newest goosebumps you can purchase that come in a book tin, book bites, TV series, and there are different pages that you can click through on that. Next, we're gonna click bookshelf. These are all of his series books, teen books, JF books, picture books, etc. And if you click on the little down arrow, it gives a little bit of information, the pages, if it's a series, it gives the number in the series and a little quick summary on what the book's gonna be about. Okay, going back up to the three little bars in the corner, we're gonna click on Rainy Night Theater. So these are different, they're similar to podcast. This is an awesome free thing that he offers on his website. They're basically spooky stories. Some of them are in a series, some of them are just one story, but you can click on the specific one you want to listen to, hit play and listen to a really spooky story. So this one is called Do Some Damage. What would happen if you accidentally cracked open a dinosaur egg and the, ax the, and the ancient yellow yolk poured out onto your skin. You wouldn't turn into a roaring beast, or would you? It says, this is a story you listen to, turn out all the lights and crank up the volume. And there are plenty on here that you can listen to. Some of them are a little bit more spookier than others, but I just encourage you to go through here and listen to some of his spooky stories. It tells about the narration, over towards the right and the credits, if it has music, and so on and so forth. Okay, going back to the three bars. Writing program. This is what I really wanted to talk about in this video. This is for teachers, librarians, if you're homeschooling this year, this is a really good idea on how to get your students or children motivated on writing. So this is his free writing program that includes how to get ideas, how to develop your ideas, how to get started writing, how to never have writer's block. And all you need to do is click download now and it's gonna take you to a PDF. It is typically for grades three through eight, which it says right here. It gives you a little brief way to start this. It's got different guidelines, and then it has the actual content. And if you scroll through here, and you can print this out, like I said, it's free, and it has the different writing prompts, journal writing, and these are really awesome ways to get your students excited for writing. And it continues on and on. And you can print this out for each one of your students. To get back, you're just gonna click the back button. And then it goes into a little bit more of his writing program and why he gives different tips and how to use the program. And then once again, it has where you can download it onto. 
Okay, and then lastly, it has information on the author, what his life looks like and what's he doing now. And this is if you're interested in learning more about him. Up here, you'll also see on his about where it says need images for a book report. You can download those. If you have questions or need answers, you can check out frequently asked questions. And we're gonna go back home. Lastly, if you scroll down to the bottom on any of these different subcategories, you will see where you can follow the author on different social medias. And lastly, you can actually write to R.L. Stein and hopefully you might get something back. So I encourage you to look at this spooky website for the spooky season and I will see you next week, bye.